we get the news break that Action Jackson, Mama There Goes That Man, Mark Jackson, who was Mama There Goes That Man is, is was, right for this incident. Right. Who was reportedly hired by the Knicks to be a sub for Clyde Frazier. He was unceremoniously fired from ESPN. So we're thinking the Jackson Hive is back, right? Mark Jackson's back. Jackson Hive is alive and well. Mark Jackson coming back to MSG Networks. You know, the the the, the Jackson Hive conspiracy theorists who say we're saying, hey, maybe this is one step closer to coming back to the bench. We'll get Tibbs out of here. This is what we need. But now we hear that it's not going to happen. Because according to Andrew Marchand of the New York Post, Mark Jackson was essentially fired by Leon Rose and the Knicks and banned from the team plane in part due to an old quarrel with Jackson and an assistant coach. The assistant coach is Dave Erman. Dave Erman worked for the Jackson coaching staff early 2000s for the Warriors. He was fired by the Warriors for allegedly recording the coaching staff and the players. And now this. And a lot a lot of people speculated that part of, you know, the narrative around Mark Jackson, you know, his religious views, the the toxic environment that was going around the Warriors, part of that was, you know, Dave Vermont and, and the recording situation. So now he's out. What the hell happened here? Oh, that was short lived. <laughs> the shortest career in Knicks history. Axon Jackson out of there. Where's where's Homer's father walking into the barn, walking out, taking that hat? That's out what you there. need right in. In He's and out. Because that's He's what that there. was. But hey, we don't have an I mean, it's not a lot of information to see like what went on here, but obviously since the assistant coach was with him out in Golden State, it had to have been bad enough where you know, for the work environment for, through Leon Rose's eyes, it's like, look, we don't need any of this. Let's keep it away. And that's that's what this team has been, right? They haven't really gone for players that have brought drama. They haven't really gone for people who have caused a lot of drama. Uh, although you can look at Rosas for for the reasons why he was got fired, but yeah, um, out in Minnesota. But you can see that there's been lack thereof in the Knicks organization since under Leon Rose. So I'm guessing that he just didn't want anything close to that and to make a work environment that is safe for the assistant coach. So I don't know, but there's not, that's all my speculation based on what we have. There's not really enough information for me to say why, if it was right or wrong or anything of that nature, but short lived, man, I would like to hear Jackson on the broadcast at a replace of Clyde, man, because yeah. you know, Clyde's getting up there in age. You need somebody else to replace him soon. You bring in like a former Nick, you know, he was great with uh, Van Gundy and Breen for ESPN. Yeah. I thought that would have been a really good addition for MSG, man. Yeah, they should have never broke them up. Uh, but I was sitting here waiting. You know, we were eight games, we were eight games into the season. I'm sitting here waiting like this was this is kind of a big deal. Mark Jackson come back. You still haven't heard from him yet. Mm -hmm. I got just Gus Johnson's back. Gus Johnson's going to be calling the game against the Hawks tonight. I'm happy about that. For sure. But according to Marshawn. Mark was supposed to be the color commentator for this road trip, this five game trip. Yep. So I'm wondering, first and foremost, for the article to say he's banned from the team plane, that makes me think something popped off on that plane on the way to Boston or something. Something happened, right? Like we hear firings all the time, but specifically to be banned from the team plane, to put that element in there. I don't know, man. That means something popped off on that plane for Leon Rose to be like, you know what? We can't have this because how would you make the decision to bring him in? You knew his enemy was already on the coaching staff. I mean, the way if you look into the details of the way Dave Ermond got fired from the Warriors for the videotaping scandal, the reason he allegedly why he put the, the video recording in the locker room was because he was paranoid that Mark Jackson was talking about him behind his back. Mm hmm. So if both sides knew that this guy's here on Tibbs' coaching staff, how did the how was this the decision even made to hire Mark Jackson? And then on top of that, it's like, well, how did you figure he was gonna get to Boston? 
How did you figure he's going to get to Minnesota? Like, well, what's he going to take? Got him an Amtrak ticket for Mark Jackson right here. Like, is Mark Jackson going to take an Uber, a Peter Pan bus? Like, he's going to jump on the plane. So No, he's going to take the dollar bus, man. He's going to take the mega bus. Right, he's going to take a mega bus. So now, all of a sudden, he jumps on the plane. The coach is on the plane. And now we realize that they've got beef and we can't have it. I don't know. Funny stuff, but I give credit to the Knicks for, for, for putting it to bed early. So it doesn't get out of hand, man. I mean, yeah, for sure. I, what was said, man? Because that's... I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. But all, all I can tell you is this, man. If I were to tell the eight-year-old me, Knicks fan me, that one day they were going to toss Oakley out of there like Jazzy Jeff, you and can't get through the door because he don't got proper credentials. Oh God. Like Spike, Spike can't get to his seats. A 30 year season ticket holder, hundreds of thousands of dollars. They, he can't get to his seats because he can't get through the right door. And now you got Mark Jackson, the hometown kid. He he's banned from the team plane and fired on his day off. You can't make it up. Only and don't right- forget. You got to tell your eight year old self. Hey, I can't bring my tripod to, re- to record games anymore. And do it. You just you just can't do it. So, uh, look, man, it, it's a good thing that these things are now small potatoes in the life of a Knicks fan compared to yesteryear, but still funny to talk about, nevertheless, man. I wonder what that conversation between Erman and and Jackson went down. Hey, remember when you got me fired for put, playing that place? Remember that when you were a stitch in the locker room? <laughs> Hey, yeah, F you, man. Get out, get off this yeah. plane. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. We still got the rats sitting around here. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you, oh, we're going to set up another camera as you broadcast the game just to make sure yeah. you ain't talking around my back on camera. <laughs> yeah. Unreal, man. Unreal. So uh, the Jackson era is over again. <laughs> the shortest tenure in Nick's history. Who's next? Mama, there goes that man. Right. Who's next? I mean, I, I mean, who's left to be embarrassed? What are they going to do to Carmelo next time he's in the garden? Oh, no, 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 We can't do that. We can't, we, we can't do that now. We Don't can't do that. Don't let them disrespect my guy number seven, man, because that, that's going to be a whole nother story. We got to protect who, Carmelo. But who are they going to have call games? Who's going to replace Clyde now? Like, who's the next? Because that's supposed to be a thing. Who is the next player to, that they were going to bring in? It was supposed to be Mark Jackson to be that next guy to call. Who's I, my, the next guy? Who? Might be JD. Maybe it's JD. I mean, JD would be a great option. Yeah, maybe it's what I mean. Right now, it's Wiley. But he's but- JD Breen, man. So he'd have to replace Breen, though. So I'm saying, who would be the player? That's I, what the- I I I would. I'd sign Derek Harper from the Mavericks. Derek Harper, that's a great option. Yeah. Yep. That's a great option. I'd sign Derek Harper. Bring Harper back home, even though Dallas is his home. Who cares about them? Bring him to home, home. Bring him to New York. Harper wants to be back. He's a friend of the program. He rocks with us. Oh, my God. Yeah. We have Gamba saying, bring J.R. Smith in to call games. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No. Uh, Also, TM says, no, we can't lose J.D. We own rights to match match J.D.'s contracts. (laughs) Right. Right. Oh man. I can only imagine J.R. Smith calling games. Never, never a dull moment in Nick's land, man. But uh, JR, put on your shirt, man. We're here broadcasting. What are you doing? <laughs>